The aroma from Ted Peters' famous smoked fish fills the air in Pasadena. The smell is impossible to describe, but there's that combination of acrid and sweetness. This Tampa Bay institution smokes more than 100,000 pounds of fish every year. Because we do a hot smoke on all of our fish and not a cold smoke, it really seals in and locks in flavor like nothing you, you've experienced before. But the origins of this meal go back much further than Ted Peters' 71-year history. You can make an argument that the oldest cuisine in Florida is smoked fish. USF historian Gary Mormino says cultures have been doing this for thousands of years. Every society, when they have an abundance of food, historically, the great challenge is how do we preserve enough for the lean times. One method was smoked fish. And in Florida, one of the most abundant types of fish has always been mullet. If I would ask the question, what fish kept more Floridians alive than any other fish, there's no question, it's mullet. In 1848, we had settled in uh, along the Gulf of Mexico. We couldn't sleep for two nights because of mullet runs. I mean, which would have been millions and millions of mullet. In fact, there were so many mullet, people found other ways to use them. Mullet and grouper used to be used as fertilizer in a lot of orange groves. They were, they were so cheap, you could buy them and simply bury them in the ground. But through the centuries, one thing remains constant with mullet. It sure is delicious when you smoke it. Mullet, to many people, is a poor people's food. It's also wildly popular. Uh, and, and makes a wonderful smoked fish because it's fatty. The key is it doesn't dry out. You, no one wants to eat a dry piece of smoked fish. And Gary says there's only one place to go in Tampa Bay if you want a true taste of history. The mother altar of smoked fish in the Tampa Bay area is Ted Peters. We've done it the same way since the very beginning. That smokehouse is still smoking fish like how Grandpa Peters did um, all those years ago. We look forward to doing it for the next 70 years.